welcome to video 18. I'm in the process of restoring this boat. It's a 33 foot egg harbor. It's uh, been neglected for a lot of years uh, when I picked it up. So I'm in the process of restoring it. And in this video, I'm gonna be working on the uh, rudder shafts and putting the floors in. So we'll see how far we make it. Okay, as you can see, the old bonding system is history. It wasn't even hooked up to half of the uh, pieces, so I've got to fix that. That's what I'm working on. Also, these are the uh, shaft uh, supports. Uh, uh, right now, I've got a mental block on what you call it. But I'm going to loosen these, put some 5200 under them, reseal them, make sure they're all tight before I put this floor in. Don't have a leak here, but I do have a leak right here at the rudder shaft, so I'm going to try to tighten a little bit. It may need to be repacked. But so it's leaking water there, I gotta fix that. But uh, do that. This is how I'm gonna do my grounds. I've got this little ground bar. I wanna mount it probably right here somewhere. And I'll run these grounds over to here, and one from here down to there. And then I gotta tie this, this side in to the rudders. I did fix some little stress cracks that I seen right here. I did this earlier on. Uh, there's several layers of fiberglass there. I used some four inch uh, fiberglass tape I have here, but every time I do it, it dries and looks like it, like that. I don't like the way it dries, but anyhow, the layers under here, underneath of it look really good. I put, I think, four layers. I grind out the stress track cracks and uh, went over some uh, fiberglass cloth over that. So that should take care of that. The more I had it out, I want to make sure I fixed that. So that's what we're working on right now. So here's a close up of the rudder yoke. So there's, you remember the video where I had so much trouble with it? There's my pipe. There's those two. Turned out pretty marvelous. I've got to fix that loop in that cord and I mean in that hose. Just got to loosen it and take that spin out. But I'm going to redo the way I do this. So here's another idea I had. Let me know what you think if you think it's crazy. Once the floors are here and the tanks are back in, the tanks go across here, there wasn't any vents in this area at all. So I think I mentioned it earlier in another video. Just to sort of what I was thinking. Just cut this, bring it through here. It'll go through a hole that's fitted into the plywood and seal it around it and let it'll draw the air out from underneath there and then there will be another I'll have another blower a couple of vents up here somewhere probably down low down there down here there'll just be two hose and that'll draw and the blower motors will be on the other side of this wall that way I can get to them without having to take the floor out but that's my thoughts on that all right so here we go I was going to put the plywood in for the floors, but uh, I think I'm going to hold off on that a little bit longer. I'm going to repack the uh, rudder shafts. Uh, one of those is leaking, and I'm going to go ahead and repack both of them. And I'll show you how that's done. It'll be my first time to do it, so we'll learn together. So what I have are some pick tools that I picked up at Harbor Freight a few years ago. But I'm going to use these to go in there and pull out the old packing. I don't know how much video I can get of this because it's so hard to get in here. It's very tight. I've already removed the nut. I used that uh, pipe wrench there. The packing will be up in here. So we're gonna try to get the old packing out and see what we got. And then we'll clean all this up too while we're at it. Spinning around trying to find the end. I don't know how well you can see this, but it's starting to come out. So, looks like I looked up and got both pieces at one time, so I'll double check. Awesome. So there it is. Off to West Marine. It's the closest Marine store to me. Here we are at West Marine. Uh-oh, they may not be open. Let's 
see. What time do they open? West Marine doesn't open until 10 o'clock on Saturday morning, so I guess I got to go kill uh, about 25 minutes somewhere. Okay, I'm at West Marine on Dog River. I'm gonna go in and get my packing material for my rudder, and that's it. I'm not gonna buy nothing else. I'm gonna tell myself that, and I'm gonna try to stick to it. I'm like an alcoholic going into a liquor store. It's gonna be hard on me, but I can usually find other stuff I need. But just get my packing material and get back home. I'm hoping this is the right size. It looked a little small, but he said it mine would probably shrunk up, but that's why I didn't want to order it online. I wanted to compare it. It looks pretty. If I can get a better shot. I think it'll. I think we'll be alright. I think that is it. Let's see how tight we can get that. So it's coming out like that. Let's see if I can mark it with this pin. I don't know if that's gonna mark it or not. Take the first one. I'm gonna stick the gap on that side. Take the other one, rotate it 180 where it's on this side. So now we're gonna slide the cap down over it. Should be very tight. Get that in there. Make sure it goes in. Work with it a little bit. Okay, so that's the uh, rudder shaft support. I uh, can't remember what you call it. That's what the bearing goes in the rudder bearing. I pulled all these, I took these off, cleaned off under there, 5200 under it, put a new ground strap under it. It was just under it like this. I left that one because I already put it in there, but I decided to come back like this, clean it up, and then there'd be a ground going here to the ground bar. But uh, I did this one like this, and I'm going to spray a little paint on it. I did that one already. Not that it'll be seen, but maybe it'll help with the corrosion. But it should still have its same grounding properties. So, clean this area up a little bit more, and then put some paint on it. Alright. So, I came down here this morning to finish up my project on the back deck. And I came in, discovered I had no 12 volt power. Uh, my batteries back there I checked them they're charged I checked all the breakers so I don't know what's wrong so that made me a little nervous so I unhooked all my batteries cut everything off except for my AC power so I have some lights but now I want to hook up my bilge pumps straight to a battery that I have back here in the back all right so maybe you'll be able to see where I'm at bilge pump is under the generator under a subfloor so you can't really get to it I want to try to squeeze in here and do it from the bottom but we got a storm coming Wednesday, so I got to get the bilge pumps hooked up and where I felt secure with them. So this one's quit working. So let's see if we can get down in here and see what we got. I've got a spare one down there just in case I need it. Voila. So bilge pumps running. I still got to get that installed. There we go. That stick looks like a turtle head. Oh, so back there, that hole. I'll push 
and you pull. How about that? Somebody. There it is. The fuel hose is finally in. One step closer. Couldn't have done it without the help of the number one crew member there, the first mate. What'd you think about it? Pretty easy. I don't know why I'm making such a big deal about it. <laughs>